Nope, not on yet. Yeah. Yep. Go. Nope. Getting louder. Getting louder. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is just me filling in the time so we can get. That sounds better. OK, that's more like it. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, everyone. And oh, yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> and welcome to the 87th annual PurpleCon conference. Uh, <laughs> My name is Alex, and these are my digital online friends, Grace, Ryan, and Jeremy. This is the only photo of us from the photo booth last year, and it shows that we're all very good, nice friends. There's also this fan art that was made for us at, after last year's PurpleCon, right? Thank you to Anton, who gave a talk last year, and is also giving one this year for this extremely good image that I have no reason for including in these slides, except that I wanted to show you. So we have noticed that PurpleCon looks a little bit different to some other security things, and I feel like we owe you some explanation for that. We noticed that a lot of other security things look like this, and our understanding was that hacker culture has, is and has always been about sort of rebelling or not conforming or generally doing your own thing, because, well, if you can do whatever you want on a computer, you, may, you can do whatever you want in real life, right? That's the idea that after you hack the computer, presumably you're going to then do something. And we thought it was kind of strange or weird if everybody was, was rebelling in the same way. So we made another way, another very specific way, which you can all rebel now, because we were left unsupervised on the internet. I mean, I mean look at this. Does this look like something that a responsible adult would let us do? Like, and we're not saying that this is, we're not saying that there are only two ways or that this way is better or anything, but we hope that seeing these two sort of opposite examples makes you feel like that you can rebel in your own way. And we picked this particular aesthetic because we want to invite people to join us. We want to be inclusive. We want to say, hey, please come and do what we're doing. And I think we need new people to join us, unless you think that we've got this whole thing under control and we don't need anyone's help and we've just got this as it is. But I think new people can help us a lot. And uh, we've actually managed to sneak some information security into this fashion show, and I wanted to talk about that as well. <laughs> the way that our talks work is a little bit different. Um, we were pretty strict on our speakers and what we asked them for because we required all of our talks to be positive, defensive, and actionable. So positive in the sense that we spend a lot of time talking about breaking things or saying how terrible a particular thing is, and we don't just want to learn how broken things are, we also want to learn what we can do to help people. We want to learn what, how, what we can fix or what is already good for us to use. And talks also have to be defensive, which means they have to be about helping people in some way, helping keep people safe. And the talks have to be actionable so that you, the audience, can learn and actually even apply the things that the speakers tell us about today. You can actually apply the limitless cosmic wisdom they bestow upon us. Because while well, conferences are kind of the best thing we have for learning right now. And so we also have the great archive. So all of our speakers are submitting some sort of document or documents alongside their talks. And it's in text form. And the reason for this is so that in a few months or weeks when you are back doing whatever you do when you're not at PurpleCon and you think, oh, I saw this PurpleCon talk and they had this idea and I kind of want to do that, or what was that thing that they said? You can just look it up because it will be in this great archive. And you won't have to watch a 45-minute YouTube video to try and find the little bit for the thing that you want. And so we hope that helps. So we are just kind of trying things out to see what works. This is our second time doing PurpleCon. I mean, 87th, yeah, 87th time doing PurpleCon. And because this is an experiment, we've been spending long nights in the lab doing conference science. So thank you, and welcome to our little experiment. Uh, the next uh, <laughs> The next thing that I wanted to tell you is about the lanyards. And I think that Jeremy should explain this part. So you hopefully have all seen your lovely lanyards, and one, maybe one of you, some of you are thinking, like, who made these? Uh, did I order them on AliExpress? Um, <laughs> the answer is no. Uh, <laughs> they were hand, lovingly handmade by my mum. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, what an awesome reaction. Thank you. I'm going to share that with her because she was like, are people going to like them? Are they so like, this, I don't know if they're going to look, are they, are they good? I'm like, mom, this is amazing. Keep going. Don't stop because we need 350 of them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there was some uh, sad times along the way. Uh, I think around the 200th star, mum broke a crochet needle and like <laughs> sent me that picture. Uh, I think that was the one that was like held together with tape for a long time. So I don't know if it was like as dramatic as she made it out to be, but. <laughs> And then she sent me more. She was sending these progress pics, and I would immediately send them to our group chat, and everyone would immediately just tell me how crazy this is. Um, so there was another progress pic there, and I said, "Hey, mum, I need like a picture of you to put in these slides because everyone's going to love it." And um, she wasn't really keen on that idea, but she said, um, "I'm the crochet Batman." <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> no one knows my real identity, so <laughs> yeah. Your, your stars were hand, hand crocheted by a certified Nana uh, Batman, my mum. So. <laughs> Who's doing next bit? Yeah, thanks. Sponsors? Oh. This is me as well. Or is this me? I don't know. This is me. No, it's Jeremy. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, uh, we wouldn't, this Purpicon wouldn't be possible without our sponsors. Um, so we'd like to thank them and hope that they support us again. Um, we'd like to thank uh, Insomnia, Atlassian, Google, ZX Security for making this whole thing possible. So yay, thank you, sponsors. <laughs> so we, you may have noticed the tickets were um, affordable and we one, it didn't want cost to be a barrier to come to Pippacon, so their sponsorship has helped pay for AV. Um, we've got live streaming happening. Um, this sparkly venue, um, stickers, um, everything, flowers. We've got like, I, I did kind of pay for a little bit of my mum's uh, handcrafted lanyards. But <laughs> yes, thank you, sponsors. All right, so. Now for the big, long list of things that you should know about. All right, let's go. Um, so we have volunteers. Our volunteers are so important to us. We love our volunteers. Um, they are around wearing t-shirts such as this. Um, their lanyards um, have a blue outline. Um, and they are here to help you if you have any questions um, or if there's anything that you need. Uh, they will be able to like tell you where to go and what to do. Um, there will be people hanging out at registration, uh, so you can always like go there. Um, but we do want to just say like a big massive thank you to our volunteers right from the start. <laughs> um, code of conduct. Uh, we love being the friendliest conference ever in existence, and we would like to continue to be the friendliest cons like conference um, around. So uh, you all will have seen our code of conduct. Um, here is the link again. Always, always make some time to just go back and have a look and just check um, what's okay and what's not. Um, we have various reporting channels. Um, we have a phone number. Uh, that you can like text or call. Um, one of the organizers will have it, like we kind of pass it around um, between us. Uh, there's an email address, um, Twitter DMs we will be checking, and you can go to um, like one of us or the volunteers, and the volunteers will help you find um, one of us. Uh, so there are different ways that you can um, go and like report whatever it is that you're like comf uh, comfortable with. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, our website also has um, details on how to report. Next, we have our schedule. So please um, be familiar with uh, what's happening. Um, this, is, uh, this is the place where you'll find everything. We haven't printed any paper copies. Um, there is a toggle button at the bottom of um, the front page of our website to turn it into clear text um, to make things a little bit easier to read. Um, if uh, that will be like more convenient, because. I know that we have lots of sparkles everywhere. So we um, really want to make it so it's like accessible so you can find um, what's happening today. Um, we have a lot of talks that are going to be covering many different subject areas. It's OK to pick and cho choose the talks that you attend. Um, sometimes it can feel like you need to know everything about security before coming along to an event like this. Uh, but we think that that kind of defeats the purpose, right? So you know, we all um, encourage you to be curious and to go along to talks that perhaps you like, are curious about but don't know that much about. 
Um, our speakers will be hanging around. Um, please go and talk to them um, in the breaks if you have questions. And talk to fellow attendees as well. There's people with like varying degrees of knowledge in many different um, technologies. Uh, so we all want to like come here and learn and share knowledge. Um, that's, our, that's our main thing. That's our theme that you'll be hearing over and over again. Um, so it's okay not to know everything. Um, you're here to learn, and our speakers are here to like share their knowledge with you. Um, and we've got like so many awesome people in this room as well that you can go and talk to too. So we have a live stream again this year, which is awesome. Thank you again to our sponsors for making this possible. Um, we have two cameras at the back of the room, so um, be mindful of that. Um, if you don't want to have your face appear in the live stream, um, it shouldn't. We have the cameras pointed directly at the stage. Um, but just in case um, you're concerned about that. Uh, also, if our live stream goes down, um, streamers, hello, people who are watching the stream, please uh, at us on Twitter or send us an email or something, and then we can like try and fix it. Um, we will be like monitoring our like feed and stuff like this, um, and we want to make sure that our stream is up live. Uh, the other nice thing about having a live stream is that if you want to have like a quiet moment, then you can just go and like watch remotely. Like you can just sit in a quiet corner and do that. Um, we know that it's like very overwhelming being at like a, in this big room with lots of people. Also, many of you are going to be going to KawaiiCon. Um, we heart KawaiiCon, we love KawaiiCon, and um, we know that uh, you might be a little bit worried about like when are you going to be able to pick up your stuff. Um, we have a 90-minute lunch break today because we know that um, people may want to be going um, further into the CBD. Uh, so you should have time to be able to go and um, collect your lanyards and stuff uh, for there. Um, their uh, registration opens at uh, lunchtime. So, you should be able to have like some time. Otherwise, there's registration opens um, in the morning. So please, uh, if you do want to like register and stuff, uh, just be mindful of that and plan out your time accordingly. Also, there's this weird bug in the website. Someone reported a sneak button on the website to us. Sorry, we're trying to get it fixed as soon as we can. Um, the aesthetics table is right at the back. Uh, in this little side space where the bubble tea is. Um, there are little like glittery things and nail polish and stickers. Please help yourself and um, decorate yourself as much or as little as you want. Uh, you have root access to your own identity, so <laughs> We're, we are just here um, being enablers, so please help yourself. Um, there's also some items in the bathroom that you can help yourself to as well. Uh, like, do not, do not hold back. Uh, we have name stickers. Uh, there is a table at the back. Um, please put your pronouns on them as well. Uh, this is so, you know, it makes it easier for when you're talking to people or if you forget somebody's name. Um, I see that most of you have done the needful with the stickers, which is awesome. Uh, if, one, if, you, if it falls off or gets lost, just go and like, make another one. It's no big deal. All right, so uh, another really cool thing that we're doing this, uh, today is we're going to have a slightly longer afternoon tea break. And uh, there's going to be a whole hour where we don't have talks happening. And we want you to use this time to hang out with each other and discover that the meaning of PurpleCon was friendship all along. Um, <laughs> this is also a good time for you to find people who might be interested in the same topics as you. So we're going to have um, these little uh, rectangle stickers. And if there's a security topic that you would um, like to discuss or something that you know about, um, write that topic on there. Uh, so during networking time, if there's some, something in particular that you want to um, you know, make the most of like, the space to talk about, uh, then put, put it on the sticker or like, look for somebody else who's like, interested in these topics. Um, so these could be things like, you know, company-wide security training. How do you do that? How do you make people more aware of security things? Or like, how to include like security-focused unit tests or stuff? Like, how to manage logs? Whatever it is that you need to talk about. Um, we also encourage you to do this cute little like Pac-Man model of um, talking. So if you're standing around and you're in like a group with your friends or with people who you, who are your new friends. Um, Create like a little gap in the circle so new people can join and come and go. Uh, that way, you know, you kind of have like opportunity to uh, have more flow of conversation. Um, 
so we really encourage you to, to make the most of this time um, and to like, think about what it is that you want to get out of this conference um, that will, could possibly be the most valuable part of this conference. We don't know, right? Um, it's up to you. Uh, also, there's going to be snacks. Uh, we're going to have um, this area over the side will open up, um, and we'll have like a little bit of um, some light catering, uh, so you can like chat to um, chat to your newest friends uh, out there. Next thing to know is that there we do have a photographer. Um, we have Christina, who is um, sitting in the front row at the moment, and she <laughs> she'll be around. So um, just be mindful if you would not like to be in photos. Um, that we do have a person um, who is taking pictures around. Um, Christina is very good at asking for permission and stuff. So uh, we, we love Christina as well. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. All right. So emergency plans. Um, let's go through the drills. So if there's an earthquake, um, the important thing is to keep calm. Um, we know that uh, the survival rate and things like this of people is much better when you are able to um, stay calm in these situations. Move away from windows, um, get low on the ground or under like hard objects, um, wait until it passes, and then evacuate. There is um, emergency ex exits through here, and there's another one um, out the back. Um, if there is a tsunami warning, um, there is a gym just on the corner, and there's some steps, and these steps go all the way up to like the highest point um, that is like in the local area, and it's basically just going up the steps as fast as you can if that happens. Um, so um, that's uh, if you hear the alarm um, to evacuate again, exit down the back, and just down here through the side. Um, that should cover the most important things. There will also be like wardens um, who will help. Okay, so again, we have our um, live stream. If you want to like take a break, then you can always join in remotely. Also, for all our streamers out there, also please stay hydrated. This is a message for everybody, not just for the people here. Um, and in that theme, we have free bubble tea for everybody. And bubble tea will be here until 2 p.m. this afternoon. Um, please hold on to your cups if you would like more than one serving, and they will um, refill your cup for you. And you can have lots of bubble tea, as much bubble tea as you like. Uh, this is our choice of um, caffeination for those who uh, typically prefer coffee. We would just love bubble tea. So um, yes, they will be here until 2 p.m. Uh, one last thing. No food or photography or drinking in the foyer. Um, this is a special space. Please do not take photos or drink um, or eat in that area. You can eat in this region and you can eat like over there, pretty much everywhere except for just the foyer. All right, and let's go.